Hello again. Nearly 70,000. And that's the number of guns in Mexico which have been traced back to the U.S. in the past five years or so. And this is according to a recent report by the U.S. government. Mexican President Felipe Cadron has asked the U.S. to do more to stop the flow of guns to Mexico, which he says are being used in drugs war, which has killed about 50,000 people. Some of these American weapons pass through the Mexican border town of uh, Kidad uh, Juarez, from where our correspondent uh, Rose Velton sent this report. This sign can be seen from America. It's on the Mexican side of the border, in Ciudad Juarez. If metal could talk, here's what it might say. Of course, we don't care if they buy guns and kill each other. We do care if they don't apply their law to stop the smuggling of guns. That's our business. And it was a serious business in April when a truck tried to cross the Juarez border with over a quarter of a million bullets. The trucking company said the driver had taken a wrong turn. Some think there's a link between the violence here in Mexico and the easy access to guns in the US. In the border town of El Paso, Texas, for example, there are several places where you can buy guns legally. There are approximately 12,600 gun shops in the American states which border Mexico. Magda Koss thinks Barack Obama is serious about gun control, but there's a but. El poder que tiene the power of an organization such as the National Rifle Association also to do lobbying inside American politics doesn't favor real control on the guns owned by U.S. citizens. And once they've left America, these guns are even harder to control. Last year, U.S. agents allowed hundreds of guns into Mexico illegally. The idea was to track them to the bad guys. But some of the weapons ended up at Mexican crime scenes. If we want to be a sovereign country, we must regain the control of our borders lost to the smugglers from the U.S. and to the corrupt authorities that we have in Mexico. The guns problem will soon be someone's new problem. Mexico chooses a new leader in July, but the message looks likely to remain the same. Ross Velton, CCTV, Ciudad Juarez, Mexico.